got a question for you. Do you think that a Star Machine, an SR38, could run stainless steel 316 components out of 38 mil bar 24-7 for three years without breaking down? Well, we're going to speak to Mark Felstead and ask him uh, whether that's the case. Mark, good way to start. Is that the case with this machine? It very much is the case with that machine, yeah, and it's the reason we bought the machine as well. So it's been running 24-7, cutting the part that we're going to look at here in a minute in yep. detail. Quite a complicated part. Stainless steel 316, right up to the limits, 38 mil bar. You have gone beyond that as well. Yep. And it hasn't missed a beat in that entire time. No, not in that entire time, no. Wow, that is incredible reliability, which has obviously led you to purchase your next star as well, the SR20J, which we've got here, which in fact was stalled, uh, installed the other week. But yep. let's talk about this 38 then. So what are you actually machining? What is this stainless part? Okay, so this is a lock case. It's made out of 316 stainless. Uh, we hold most of the tolerances to plus or minus 0.02 millimetre. Um, it has uh, mill drilled features, tight bores uh, all over it and uh, uses every single tool position in the whole machine. So you're using every tool on the machine as well? Yeah. Okay, now um, is it well balanced? Uh, it's, yeah, it is actually. It's balanced within about, uh, within about 15, 20 seconds on one head to the other. Right, okay, we're going to ask people to, to guess the cycle time on this part. So the part that Mark's talking about, we want to know how long you think that this part takes to make in one hit on this um, SR38. Now let's talk about this machine because it is a, it's, a, it's a big sliding head lathe. Is, yeah. You can go above the 38mm bar without the guide bush. I believe it's up to 42, I believe. That's right, yeah. Um, but you've also got a B-axis on here, so it's a very sophisticated piece of kit too. That's right, yeah. So yeah, we've got full B-axis simultaneous ability on it um, for both main and we can work on the sub as well. Um, yeah, and as you say, it goes up to 30, 38 mil in guide bush. We run it non-stop in non-guide bush configuration um, and we run it up to the full 42 mil capacity. Now for this sort of bar, because 316 is quite a, a, a weighty bar and in the long bars as well, is there anything that Star put in place with this machine in order to cope with the extra weight coming into the machine? Yeah, so uh, there was a few additional things that we had put on it. One of them was FMB's new LSK bar feeder which uh, has got a travelling channel on it, so that helps to support the heavier bars and reduce and damp dampen the vibration within the machine. Because we were um, doing a lot of milling work and producing very fine swarf, there's a double filter uh, LNS swarf conveyor on the machine. And then obviously because of the nature of the, the 316, we've got a dual pressure, high pressure coolant on the machine as well. So you've got the dual pressure, high pressure coolant, so does that help you with getting rid of some of the fines, some of the swarf as yeah, well? Yeah, that's right. And then we're also running high pressure coolant uh, internally in 3.1 millimetre drill. That's a main feature on this as well. So we needed the shift in pressure to allow for, uh, to allow for the different size of tools that need to have high pressure capability. So you say you're using every single tool in here. Can yeah. we maybe talk about some of the operations and the tools included here? Because there's yeah. some quite intricate machining, isn't there? Yeah, there is, yeah. So there's, uh, there's three different tapped holes on the, on, on the part as well. On the main spindle, we're using a 13mm U-drill, rough and uh, finished bore in operations as well. Balance, rough turning on the outside as well because you've got the dual X-axis as well on the machine. Uh, finished turning and then we mill uh, the couple of bayonet fittings, for want of a better word, drill the 3.1 millimetre holes right through uh, the length of the job for, um, for key chambers. And then we've got three uh, drilled and tapped holes on the machine uh, on, the, on the job as well. On top of all of that, you've got a tiny little four millimetre keyway uh, that's right the way down the inside uh, of the job as well, which I had to get a special cut of ground to do. Okay, so that, that's the first, so then the second, the second operation? Yeah, then the second operation, there is a finished bore operation to make sure it's sized and to clear debris from down the hole. Uh, we finish the face, we mill three keyway slots around the outside of it, and we engrave the customer's logo on the final product as well, all on the machine finished. Do you ever have to worry about, when, when you're running the amount of hours you are, what, what about tool life and tool wear and managing that? You, you say you're using every station, so there's no, there's no possibility of having sister tools on here as well then? Uh, no, there isn't any possibility to have any sister tools on the machine at all. We're using very stable processes, the tool life management on the machine. So we have tool life counter for every single tool and we run it through and then change them. And uh, we can, we've effectively got it to now the point where we can attend to the machine once a day. So for basically about 45 minutes every day, we swap out the consumables and we've got it to the point where we can run it for one, two, three days on the tool, depending on the tool life. And so different numbers of tools get swapped out every day. 
Okay. Yeah. Fair to say you're, you're pretty happy. This machine must be uh, must be a, a good profit sell for you, a profit sell. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it enabled us to win more work from that customer as well because we've got a reliable um, supply chain to them. They're happy because uh, it's a high usage part. And then as, as a result of that, we've got other work in the shop from that customer. Good, good stuff. Let's see if uh, people can guess the cycle time on this part that's being done here at AW Engineering. We want to know how quick you think this is machined in one hit. Um, as Mark actually described. But the real story here is that this machine has been running for three years, 24-7 on stainless 316, and it hasn't broke down once. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you.